Today we're going to look at packaging up your float should you need to return it in the event of um, you getting the RMA from us which is uh, RMA stands for return merchandise authorization so if you have a problem with your float and uh, we're within a warranty or replacement period contact me first through email and you will receive an RMA authorization number and then we will proceed from there that will also give you the return shipping information so to start take the cap off your float and then remove the circuit board so now we have the tube in two pieces and we've got the circuit board with the battery in it here and uh, if you're prone to having a lot of high static on your hands then ground yourself before you start uh, touching the circuit board. The battery can be kind of hard to lever out of this cradle with your fingers so I often will employ a spoon in order to help me lever it out and that also helps because if you are putting too much pressure pulling this battery upward I've actually had one case where the user ended up pulling the um, battery cradle right off the circuit board so to take a spoon and use it to leave your your battery up a little bit while you work your fingers underneath and then you can uh, get it out like that so now we have the bare circuit board and I'm going to put it back in the tube now what this has done by removing the battery is it makes the return shipping cost a lot less and it also um, doesn't employ the concerns with shipping batteries through the post because there's a different set of regulations to do that so now we're not up against that grab the envelope that you're going to use to uh, ship the float back and uh, get a quick measurement of it because what we're going to do is um, get a piece of cardboard to tape this float onto and that just helps with it keeping it in place inside whatever envelope you decide to use uh, in this case you can see I've got a, a generic bubble pack envelope and now I'm just going to get a piece of cardboard so now I've cut out a piece of cardboard that um, should slide inside this envelope and next what I'm going to do is just uh, take the pill as I called it a float before sorry I stand corrected this is the pill and uh, take some tape of some sort scotch tape packing tape and tape the pill down onto your cardboard card now it's held in place on the card and then we can slip it into the envelope put your shipping label on this side and then send it and as you can see now the pill is not sliding around inside the envelope and the uh, plastic tube is sufficient enough to protect that circuit board during shipping so there shouldn't be any problems with that now use uh, US Postal Service first class in order to send this back and uh, that particular service you do not require tracking to send it back and uh, the package needs to be one pound or less now as you can see from this scale when we place our unit on there we're at about three ounces so uh, we're well underneath our uh, pound allowance for the postal system 